So y'all think the only thing I do is truck. That's the only thing I take videos of. See what I'm, I just had me a nice, wonderful meal at Waffle House. I'm in Tulsa if I didn't tell y'all already. Last video I made was my melting review and when I was on my way to Tulsa. But uh, yeah, man, whenever I do, whenever I go, go places, you know, like do fun stuff, I, I always use Snapchat. I don't, I don't do too much recording. When I get around this corner, I'm gonna show y'all where I'm at. For all, for all you guys that uh, go to orientation in Tulsa, the hotel is actually right down the street from where I'm at right now. I'll give you a little clip. This is the Hard Rock Cafe and Hotel. Every time I come to Tulsa, I come here. I don't come in here to gamble though. I just like to come in here, walk around, just chill really. That's about it. Anybody know where we at? I'll let you know in one minute. I'm about to run in here and give me some any gel. I need some. See what that guy meant when he asked me how you how you flat bed in the winter. Man, let me tell y'all, man. When I got here yesterday, it was like 45 degrees. Now I woke up this morning, it was 26. You see the million mile trucks over there, burgundy one, purple one. To my left, uh, you might can't see it on the camera. Whistle Star, it's, it's right there. Man, I swear, man, every time I come to Tulsa, these million mile trucks, they're always here. My trainer was here yesterday, million mile. Whew. Y'all wondering what I'm doing? I'm going to pick my trailer up. I had to drop, I had to dump my trailer yesterday. So I had to put my truck in the shop. trailer all the way back here in the back because I didn't have anywhere to park at it. There it is right there. Let's just go ahead and pick this thing up. Hopefully it didn't sink too far in that mud. My trainer was here yesterday like I said and this motherfucker is still thinking I'm a damn student. I dropped the trailer. That motherfucker said you need to raise that trailer back up and put you uh, uh, put, put you some wood up under the landing gear. And, and guess what I said? You think I said, fuck you, I ain't a student no more. You know what I said? I said, yes, sir. <laughs> my motherfucking trainer. If y'all always hear me talk about my trainer, man, I'm going to give y'all the equivalent of, 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 of who my trainer would be as a movie star. If my trainer was a movie star, let's say, let's say he would be Rambo. <laughs> He's Rambo, and who am I? Uh, who am I? 
I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm the villain from Black Panther, Killmonger, but he's Rambo. Yeah, but I love my trainer. I used to talk some shit to him, but I respect him. She taught me everything I know. Flatbed gang. Hey. Yeah, I think I got enough room to get under there. Here. Fuck. What the fuck? Yeah, that damn. You can definitely tell. The fucking ice storm is coming. Because it just came out of nowhere, man. <clears throat> Boy, it's freezing. I said in White World Part Part Two, when the man asked me, "How do you flatbed in the winter?" I said the same way you flatbed in the summer. Look at my chains; they froze. The chains froze to the top. My nose is stopped up. Y'all could probably hear me breathing fucking crazy. Yeah, man, I got a crazy feeling already. It's gonna be, look at this, froze. Shit. We gotta hurry up so we can get back in the truck. That's what we gonna do. camera ended up cutting off yesterday when I was uh, tightening my chain up on that on that back bundle but right now I'm doing my load check before I leave in the morning I got chains on this load so all I'm doing is reaching my hand under here and making sure the chain ain't loose right here see that chain right there moving that's actually this chain that came off the binder so that, that's why that's kind of shaking these tar these these straps, I just got them up there just for a little extra. Yeah, but they're still tight. When I was tightening this up yesterday, my camera ended up cutting off. But y'all see that ice over there? I almost busted my ass on that shit. But yeah, man, I'm like 250 miles from where I gotta drop at. 
So I'll be there shortly. I'm, and I'm watching football today. How many y'all? How many y'all football fans? I'm going for the Rams, and I'm also going for the Patriots today. So my load check is complete. This video was, was I thought this video was gonna be White World Part Three, but I haven't ran into any snow yet, so that's a good thing. So right now, I've already got my coffee. I've already, I, I got no need to go inside that store and buy anything because I've already done, I got everything I need. Y'all gotta cut costs out while you're living on the road. So, uh, I'm about to get to it. Always get the driver window. You gotta give it a little extra work. Ain't too much worried about that passenger window. But this one right here, man. You gotta make sure it's right. It is currently about nine degrees out here. A little restaurant right there, Tony's Cafe. Man, I ate there last night. That's the only snow I seen, man. That's the only snow I seen. I haven't seen none actually hitting. So I guess all the snow kind of stayed up by uh, Pennsylvania. Whew. All right, folks. Let's check this out. 159 miles to my fuel solution. So we, we will be there shortly. Logging out. Guess what, family? When I first started making this video, I, I, I assumed I was going into the storm. I was going to call it White World Part 3. And I was just talking about it in my load check. I didn't, hadn't seen any snow. But I'm finally seeing it now. I got 158 miles before I get to my drop. And I finally hit it. So hopefully, it ain't too bad where I can keep moving at a good pace to get where I'm going. We got to crash a little further up. Not sure what it's about, but I'm headed there. I don't know, I don't know how well y'all can see that. This camera, this camera doesn't see as far as I do. But I've got one, two, three, four. We've got four snow plows. 
taking up all four lanes in front of me right now. Clearing the roads up. Yeah, and I was just thinking to myself, you know, man, I'm, I'm, I'm 156 miles away from this drop. I got, on my clock, I got about, I got about seven hours left on my clock. Out of my 11. So you know what? I'm 156 miles away. I can, I can pretty much, if it comes down to it, and I got a ride at, uh, let's say, 35, 40 miles an hour. Right now, I'm trying to get off of 80. I got to get off of 80. Well, it's going to actually turn into 94. But hey, I'm, I'm just trying to get up out of this traffic. But once I get up out of this, this, this heavy traffic, I can pretty much, I can pretty much skate on through. I can drive slow. If I have to, I pull over. I got plenty of time to get this load there. It doesn't deliver until 9 o'clock in the morning. But yeah, it's starting to come down pretty heavy now. straps and stuff up. Hopefully I don't wait in line too long. There's another truck in front of me. He ain't took his tarp off or nothing. Let's do this. How many of y'all ever seen frozen straps? Look at that. Froze. It's pretty bad. I can't even roll them up like this. I gotta back into that door right there. Door number one. As soon as the other guy comes out. And guess what? It's another melting. The 
my advice to y'all, if you got time to do something, try to do it. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead and unwind some of these. Save me a little time before I get back in there. Even though it's negative 12 degrees out here, I could be sitting in my truck, warming up. Inside. But we ain't gonna do that. You know why? Cause we productive. This shit still got a goddamn bungee on this one. Let's go, Mr. Bungee. Gotta get you off of there. Yeah, we saved a little time. Look at that. Already got it off. Get this one off right here. Ah, that motherfucker tight. Ah. Woo. I get off, get the tarp off to get that one. But yeah, you see that? I just saved me a little bit of time. What up, gang? They didn't get no footage of uh, when I took it inside the building. The, uh, for them to unload it, I really didn't have time. But once I got inside there, I had to get the rest of the chains off, get the tarp off, unfold it. Yeah, so that was it. But anyway, shout out all my new melting buddies. Down there orientation right now. Congratulations, man. Y'all made it this far. You made it to orientation. You got to you got to Thursday. You make it to Thursday, you in there. Black bag game, man. Waiting on my next load. Want y'all to remember one thing, man. New day, new money. Every time that sun comes up, it's a brand new day. Whatever you did yesterday, put that shit behind you. Goddamn, keep moving. Don't live life looking in the rear view. You want to keep it out that front window. All right, man, flatbed game, 100.